in the United States, there are laws in every single state that says, if you now know continuous chest compression CPR, and somebody were to collapse in front of you, and you were to go through this and do the compressions, that even if somebody tried to sue you, you could not be found responsible because you were acting out of the best goodness, the, you know, the goodness out of your heart with the training that you knew at the time. So always do your best and you're protected. These laws are put in place so that people will act in the case where there's somebody who is ill or injured instead of standing back because they're afraid of, oh, somebody's going to sue me, they're going to say I did something wrong, or because the guy didn't live, they're going to blame it on me. Not the case. Mary? Oh, yeah. Got a whole stack, stack of them. Well, it's just so lovely to be able to be in a classroom oh, yeah. where I can do this, all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great. Where does this come from? Our good Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, all right, gave us some really powerful words to tell us about the Good Samaritan Law. Here's a scholar. Everybody's always trying to get Jesus to mess up, all right? They're always trying to trick him and ask him these questions. And here's a scholar saying, hey, Jesus, Tell me about the, the commandments, the great commandments. There are all these laws. What's the, what's the real deal? And Jesus says, love God with everything that you've got. Here it is. You shall love the, Lord your, uh, uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. So the scholar replies to him. Uh, sorry, he replies to the scholar. You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. Because he, the scholar, wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went out, leaving him half dead. So here's this guy on the side of the road. He's been beaten. He probably doesn't look very good. He's half dead. A priest happened to be going down the road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side, not getting involved. He's not one of ours. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw me pass by the opposite side of the street, I might get a little dirty, don't want to go there. But a Samaritan traveler, Samaritans were not known for being of the same culture, of the same beliefs. They were different. Here's this different guy looking at this man who's been beaten. He came upon him, and he was moved with compassion. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. He lifted him up on his own animal, took him to the inn, and cared for him. The next day, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instructions, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall pay you my way back. So Jesus says, which one, in your opinion was the neighbor to the robber's victim. The ones who left him on the side or the guy who wasn't even part of them who went over and helped him. He said, the one who treated him with mercy. And Jesus said, go and do likewise. If you see somebody who is ill or injured, these are the words of our Lord who tells us to go and do likewise. Your neighbor might not be the one that you expect to be your neighbor. It may be somebody who's very different than you. Different color, different gender, male, female, different religious belief. We don't know. Our neighbor could be next door and they're a different religious belief. But our God gives us the way to help those who are ill and injured. And he gives us those instructions. And he also gives us this protection. This law came from this parable out of this book. That's a really beautiful thing that we have given to us. And it gives us some safety while we're doing here. There's a couple exceptions. This is me doing CPR on a little baby. Very sad, near drowning. Drug overdose. Small children. All these three people will have more problems with their lungs that are causing the heart to stop beating than with the heart itself. Instead of just the continuous chest compressions, we're going to breathe one, two, and then do our compressions 30 times. Two breaths, 30 compressions in somebody who is young or near drowning. Mouth to mouth can cause somebody to vomit. CPR can cause somebody to vomit. And that's a normal thing. You just turn their head to the side or turn their whole body to the side. 
clear out their mouth, and begin again. Time to practice. I need everybody quickly put your pens and paper up. We have to 